Dear College Overview Dear College is a co-educational liberal arts and occult sciences college in the heart of scenic three Portlands, an extra-dimensional city-state located adjacent to the American Northwest and Southern England, with a curriculum that focuses on the marriage of mundane and occult disciplines and a well-regarded and art program. Deer is often seen as the liberal arts counterpart, GOC-sponsored rival across town, ICSUT Portland. A number of prominent figures in the anomalous world are Deer alumni, including Vincent Anderson, the CEO of Anderson Robotics, and Esther Lesbian Ganger Cogan, one of the co-founders of Gamers Against Weed. As the Foundation's operations in three partners are heavily restricted by a number of agreements with the FBI's Unusual Incidents Unit, their college itself is relatively free of Foundation intervention. However, all their alumni are automatically marked as persons of interest and may be subject to increased Foundation scrutiny. Dr. Wentertainment Overview Dr. Wentertainment, whether an individual a collective entity is capable of producing anomalous artifacts and entities which thematically resemble children's toys. The nature of these objects and devices varies, although all are clearly intended to be utilized by children. In addition, Dr. Wendertainment is responsible for the creation of the Little Misters, anomalous humanoids altered for collectability. Dr. Wendertainment is known to have targeted Foundation personnel in the past, and their feelings towards the Foundation appear to be ambiguous. See the entry of Isabel Wendertainment on the personnel at RCA for more information. Links to the factory has been speculated, but are unconfirmed. The Factory Little is known about the factory. Excursions into facilities purported to be operated by them have yielded limited results and no concrete conclusions have been reached except that they have been capable of manufacturing anomalous artifacts and that they use mass production techniques to do so. The Fifth Church This church is to other churches what clowns are to people. There are some superficial similarities, but all the wrong reasons are being emphasized and exaggerated, so you can't quite put your finger on what is wrong. Sure, it isn't out to get you, but what does it mean? Why is it here? What happens if it calls to you? Dr. Beep Overview The Fifth Church, also known as the Church of Fifthism, or the Fifthist Fellowship, is a highly secretive religious organization which possesses ties throughout the entertainment industry. Despite repeated investigations, Cumulating in the 2007 nationwide sting known as Operation Stargazer, no further details regarding its doctrines, its practices, its number of members, or its goals have been confirmed. Although a watch list is maintained of 100 confirmed and suspected fifthest celebrities and other prominent personalities, its origins have been placed in varying points in the mid-20th century in various locations in North America and Asia, but some sources have dated it to centuries earlier. The Fifth Church has never communicated directly with the SCP Foundation, but is to be considered a hostile force. Gamers Against Weed Overview Gamers Against Weed is a loosely organized confederation of anomalous individuals, as well as associates thereof, that produce or procure anomalies for satirical purposes and or for their own amusement. More recently, however, they have also been implicated in supplying anomalies to left-wing political organizations, while Games Against Weed organizes its activities primarily over internet channels. Several real-world locations associated with the group have been identified and raided. Current intelligence suggests that Gamers Against Weed is in the process of creating and distributing a set of anomalous humanoids to parody Dr. Wendertainment's Little Mister series, and that it is aware of the Foundation's operations, if not its exact nature. The attainment of Gamers Against Weed members has proven more difficult than anticipated. 
Some of the group's organisers are believed to possess reality-altering capabilities, either in their own right or through access to outside sources. Current operations are focused on the containment of related anomalies and the identification and analysis of gamers against Weed's most dangerous members. The Global Occult Coalition, the GOC Overview The GOC was created in the aftermath of World War II from the remnants of defecting occultists, psychics, priests, and scientists from Nazi, Soviet, and Allied states brought together and formed by the Allies. As the world stage broadened, so too did the number of countries that had their hands in the GOC until it became what it is today. The GOC are a largely political force, seeing themselves as the police of the paranormal world. They pride themselves on destroying supernatural entities and make use of the most high-tech experimental technology possible obtained from their benefactors. Many potential SCPs have been destroyed by them before the Foundation could obtain and contain them. They have been both on the side of the Foundation and against it at times, depending on the situation. They largely hold the Foundation in contempt for their use and containment of SCP items rather than their out-and-out -out destruction. The GOC has respected Foundation's formidable might enough to leave it mostly alone. Although there have been some questionable incidents in which the GOC have strictly denied involvement, agents of the GOC are to be treated with suspicion. GRU Division P Overview Originally known as the 4th Department Abnormal Occurrences Commission, it was established in early 1935 by direct decree of J.V. Stalin, its first task being the investigation of the murder of S.M. Kurloff. During World War II, the commission expanded into the newly reorganized GRU as Division P, Psychotronics, working to counteract anomalous threats from the SS, Anenobi, and the Vatican, and to capture and study anomalous artifacts both at home and abroad for the benefit of the Soviet government. Division P has carried on with this role throughout the Cold War, making Foundation operations in the countries of the Comintern difficult. After 1991, rapid restructuring coupled with budget cuts and a decommissioning or sale of significant assets resulted in numerous defections of the personnel. A significant proportion of both Chaos Insurgency and MCND operatives in Eastern Europe originated from GRU Division P ranks, and a flooding of the European black market with anomalous items formerly in their possession. Currently, this group of interest poses little direct threat to the Foundation. Herman Foros Circus of the Disquieting Overview Herman Foros Circus of the Disquieting is purported to be a circus of anomalous origin and purpose. Currently, there is no evidence that this group exists beyond the allegations of various sapient SCPs and a handful of damaged, non-anomalous artifacts. Most related objects typified by humanoid status utilize anomalous deformities for the sake of performance in some way, such as SCP-1884 and scp 2902. Others appear to be typical fairground object DR, such as SCP-1921, or to take a form of attractions for the show, such as SCP-3717 or SCP-1695. Typically, objects related to Herman Fuller's Circus of the Disquieting are found at fairgrounds where the show is said to have performed. The Horizon Initiative Overview the Horizon Initiative is an organization created in the late 1960s by various influential sects in the main three Abrahamic religions as a response to a growing number of anomalous activities and groups which they perceive as threats. Though the full extent of their goals is uncertain, the Horizon Initiative is known to target SCP objects, either with the intention of retrieving or destroying them depending on each item's perceived place in the dogma. The initiative 
is led by a tribunal composed of leaders from the three largest sects involved in its creation. Though a large amount of internal strife often leaves the official leadership in less than full control of the organization. The initiative's main combat force, Project Malice, is generally deployed in anti-cult operations and in SCP retrieval operations. The initiative's relations with most other groups of interest and the foundation seems to be in a state of constant flux. While all parts of the initiative perceive the Church of the Broken God in the Fifth Church with a great degree of hostility and at times engaging them in armed conflict, sentiments toward the Foundation and the GOC vary greatly, from open hostility to a limited willingness to cooperate, depending on the internal affiliation of individual members. The Imperial Japanese Anonymous Matters Examination Agency Overview The Imperial Japanese Anonymous Matters Examination Agency, or IJAMEA, not to be confused with the Foundation precursor, IGAMEA. The Imperial Anonymous Matters Examination Agency was Japan's official and primary anomaly agency in the period from the Meiji Restoration in 1868 until the end of World War II in 1945. The agency was founded with a purpose to bring Japan up to speed with Western esoteric research, acting as a modern counterpart to pre-existing so-called primitive groups. In this capacity, the agency catalogued hundreds of different anomalies spread throughout Japan and her colonies, conducted extensive research on these, and undertook numerous projects aiming to utilize the anomalous for the greater good of the threatening empire. The agency saw its most significant role during World War II when it attempted to weaponize several anomalies to assist military forces in the war against the Allies. Rushed planning and insufficient funds, however, resulted in a few of these programs bearing fruit. The agency was formally disbanded with the Treaty of San Francisco in 1951, and most of its assets were either transferred to GOC control or covertly acquired by the Foundation. However, Imperial Loyalists and Japanese Nationalists within it kept the agency alive in the post-war years, this time as a clandestine organization during which its main focus was checking the spread of communist influence in Japan and East Asia. Today, it primarily serves to care for the well-being of Japan's diverse but faltering anomalous ecology and supports various nationalist agendas with its ties to prominent politicians, business people, and cultural personalities throughout Japan. It seeks to return some political power to the imperial family and return Japan to great power status, and actively seeks to exploit the various anomalies in its possession for this purpose. The Foundation is seen as a foreign rival at best, and agents are to exercise due caution when interacting with agency personnel.